Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 4th of January 2026, I hope you are keeping well, trying your best to enjoy your weekend and that's how hopefully I can help, is that we'll play an enjoyable game of Sudoku together. Um, and that's my topic for today really, is a bit of self-preservation and uh, good thoughts and uh, you know, kind of healing, if you like, that kind of thing, because uh, when the world is awful, <laughs> uh, it's uh, so we can't fixate on it too much because it will just, uh, you know, drive us crazy. You'll suffer, your own mental health will suffer. So try not to worry too much about what's going on in the world. Don't put your head in the sand. That's the wrong choice. But also try to remain calm and uh, don't worry about following every single news update etc i think that's unless it's your job to do that kind of thing then you don't have to right um but uh so i wanted to talk about a couple of good things that have uh, helped me today um when i woke up this morning there was a suggested video on youtube of Memdani speaking about a local issue in new york something about a, a road scheme that had caused accidents over the years and he was there with local people and they were talking about this new plan and stuff like that. It's absolutely irrelevant to my life. It has not the slightest effect on my life. Uh, here I am in Bangkok on the other side of the world in a big city, true, but uh, nothing to do with New York. And uh, whether or not they do or do not um, carry forward their policy with the uh, road has no effect on me. But it was excellent. <laughs> it was really heartwarming to see the way that he connects with people in a, such a human way is really good and that I think is a positive thing it's positive about politicians of the future they can be like normal people and he's surrounded by totally normal people who have done good things you know like about this road scheme I watched the video so I was quite intrigued by what it could be and stuff like that uh, and it was it was just really interesting and it warmed the cockles of my already warm heart because it's not cold like it is in New York right now. It's still pretty warm here in Thailand. But uh, there was that. And then something else. I was watching uh, a kind of review of jazz in the last year and I don't kind of I'm not really uh, I don't I don't pay too much attention to latest releases in jazz and stuff like that. To be honest with you, I've got so much old stuff that, to get through you know, a life and because we can play anything we want to at any time now, it's just astonishing how much choice we have. It's really difficult to get onto new stuff. But I was watching this review of uh, a YouTube review of uh, albums, best 10 or whatever albums of the year. And something came up that sparked my attention immediately. Um, if we have any really long term watchers of this channel, uh, you might possibly remember that when Chick Corea died a few years ago I was really heartbroken um, I could almost not even speak on, on the video <laughs> and in fact even just thinking about it now it really upsets me even though I never knew Chick Corea or anything like that his music affected me so much and uh, believe it or not even though he's dead uh, a new album came out last year and I had no idea he had a new album uh, as part of a trio it's called Trilogy 3 Live. It's with Brian Blade, Christian McBride. Wonderful trio. And it is fabulous, fabulous music. And it's there and it's available on uh, Spotify and Apple Music and stuff like that. If you, you have those streaming services and if you've, I'm not sure, I presume it's also available to purchase as a, as a CD, I guess. I haven't got that far yet though. But anyway, uh, great stuff. It's really great. So this is wonderful. This has made me feel fantastic today to hear some Chick Corea music that I haven't heard before. And he plays fantastically on it. And uh, this kind of thing is always there if you look for it. Uh, we have to search around sometimes to make ourselves feel good about different things. But it's there. You just have to find what it is for you that will make you feel good and uh, give you some, uh, I don't know, some joy in these kind of dark days. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle. I've seen a couple of pairs, but I haven't seen an actual digit placement yet. But now I do. I'm going to start with digit six down, six up, and six across. So that's how we'll begin today's New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle, if I forgot to mention it.
Ooh, is it a slow start? Oh, there's a, there's a pair, one and four across here. Sorry, one and four across and one and four across there. So we do have a pair of one and four in those squares, just so. Now, what does that give us? That gives us six blocking across here and six blocking up here. So that, in fact, must be a six. And six down, six up, <coughs> six right, six left, six inserted. Now, what's I saying? This was one and four. Can we get any more out of this? Uh, yes, we can. Look at that. We've got seven blocking across there. So that's going to give us seven in that square. And now we can work out what these three squares are as well, can't we? We know this is one and four. So we know this has to be two, eight and nine. And the only thing blocking there is a nine in the middle, which will give us nines up there. Let's see if we can do anything more with these twos then. Uh, I don't think so there. How about the eights? No, I don't think so there. I can hear the sound of a telephone ring. That's an unusual noise these days. <laughs> I thought they'd all gone and disappeared, but no. Some people still have landlines, I guess. Now, this was two, eight, and nine. And so this is not, this has to be five and three. So that will give us threes up there. Uh, threes up there. And that will give us fives in those squares. Hmm. Not quite enough help yet, but it will also give us nine. Ah, so we've got nine blocking across here and nine up here. And we know that these two squares are three and five. So that, in fact, is a nine. <coughs> Let's see what we can do here. We've got nine blocking across and down. down excuse me. Start again. Hold down the key, please. Right nine like that so we've got a pair of nines there so nine blocking across there and nine down there yes in fact we can place a nine there and we can go with the nines up up and across and say that's a nine and now we know we've got two eight in those squares any help on the two or the eight still no <coughs> uh, can't finish off the nines yet though we'll come back to that another time I can hear the birds. They sound hyperactive outside on the tree, on my garden tree out there. They seem to be chatting away about something. Right, we're stuck already. 
Okay. Uh, no, we're not. Well, we might be. I don't know. But we've got four and five blocking this square. We've got four and five blocking this square. So that must be four and five down there. Ah, uh, yes. So now we've got the two blocking that square. So that will be our two and that will be our eight. And this must be eight here, mustn't it? Because we've got four or five in those squares there. <coughs> still think this is going to be a tough game. Yes, just about enough. In this row, there are four empty squares. We have three blocking twos, so that is a two there. And the missing numbers are three, four, and five. And I don't really know much about that. <coughs> but never mind, because over here now we've got two blocking like this and across there that will give us two in that square two across here two up there there's our two three blocking across there there's our three and the last number to place here is the eight now I said earlier this is three five still is true so this is six seven six blocking up there there's the six and there's the Seven. Oh, I'm hearing sounds outside in my garden, and that means my gardener is working. <laughs> my septuagenarian gardener is doing my bit of tidying up. She has my permission to work whenever she is feels like it. My garden needs it. That means the weeds need cleaning. So that's good. I hope I've got some money in my. I hope I can make sure I've got some money in my, my wallet. Two blocks down here. Two blocks down there. There's a two. Okay thrown me off there, let me lose my concentration a bit there, but never mind, let's get back thinking about it. Now we have a three blocking this square and a three blocking this square, so in this row, that must be the three, and then we're going to have four, five in those squares right now. Any news on here? No, but we also know that this can't be four or five, so shall we investigate? It can't it could be a one. It's not two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is a one. Our unique rectangle has helped us yet again. And of course, eight blocks these two squares. Probably could have put the eight in anyway because it could have blocked all those three squares there. So eight will be there. Eight blocks across here, across there. And 8 down gives us 8 in that square. If this is 4 or 5, this is not. 
So this is three and nine, nine blocking across there. There's our nine, there's our three. Ah, there we go, on the left hand side, obscuring myself with my mouse cursor. Four there, four across there. That's the four, that's the five, that's the five, that's the four. Six blocking to the bottom and across here. Seven. Uh, what do we know? Seven blocking this square and seven blocking this square. So in this column, there's our seven. Seven across here, seven down there. There's a seven. Three blocking this square. That's a three in the row. Eight will finish the row. And down here, five will be the number to place. I was worried that this game was going to be a really tough one to begin with, but I'm not quite so scared now. Eight blocking down there. There's the eight. This will be a two. Two blocking up and across. There's the two. Two and six are finished. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, the four blocking across here means that this can't be four, so in that column there's the four. The missing number here is one, we're also missing one in this column, let's put that in. One across here, one down, one up there, there is our digit one, one across here, across there, and down there, excuse me, drop the key, there we go. One is now finished, three is the next number that we need. Then we need a four. Four blocking down and four across there means that's a four. Four back that way. There's a four. This is the three. Last number over here is seven. And seven also blocking across and down there gives us the final digit seven. We need to find the game is almost over, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We need a three. Can we? Can we? Where are we? Still not sure on the threes. We need a five. Not sure. We need an eight. Eight blocks up there. That means that's the eight. And this is a five. Five blocking down will give us five in that square. Five across there. Five up there. There's a five. Five up there. There's a five. This is a three. And a three blocking up here gives us three in that square. Three across there means that's a three. And the last digit to go in is a nine in two slots. Thank you for joining me. That's the, uh, whatever it is, um, New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle for Sunday. Let me go and pay my gardener. Take care. Bye-bye.